We're bringing the chicks down here, band them here out of sight from the parents. Um, and if the female, or the male for that matter, uh, are aggressive enough that we can uh, catch them, if they're not banded, I'm going to catch the adult and ban the adult so we'll have that bird marked as well. If it's already banded, we're just hoping it'll get close enough we can read the band. There's two bands. They wear one that we can read pretty easily and then one that we really cannot. So they wear two bands. This has got nine, nine numbers on it. It's totally unique. Make it be a hummingbird and it would never have that number. Um, so every band and every bird is completely different. These, um, they're not near as many digits and so we have to change colors and do all kinds of things to stay different. What a great view. I mean, can you see why I love those birds? That's the male, that's okay. the female. Okay. Yeah, great. That's, you can see the difference in the size that the male just went over. She's a big female. Do you think because I lightly visit her once in a while, she's a little bit used to? Oh boy, here we go. She's banded. She is a very good looking, healthy, fat chick. Uh, oh, I just saw the shadow go by. Oh. Other than the eagles and the parrots, are there other birds that you banned? Um, we're banned kestrels right now. We have a little kestrel project. Um, hold of that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'd be careful. I have to be real careful because those claws will come off. And if they do, okay. they don't go back. They don't go back. Uh -huh. Oh, really? I would imagine they're kind of critical for the yeah, whole food cycle. <laughs> um, let's see. And we, we have actually quite a number of projects. Um, we ban a couple of thousand turns a year. Um, we had them here at the island. Ban ones? I'm not feeling them. 